Three years ago, I built this small remote cabin. I'd stay here from time to time, but mostly, this place belonged to nature. When this pandemic hit, I lost two full-time jobs and decided to leave the city to seek shelter here. I've been off-grid since March 20th, transforming this hunting cabin into a livable homestead. This is my story. What's up, guys? It's been a while since I saw you. It's been about a week. You haven't missed much. It's been really cold and wet and windy. It's windy again today. Seems to be the new norms, just windy every freaking day in Ohio. Especially when I need to get on the roof to get things done, which we're gonna try to do today. But I actually went home for a few days, back to on grid. It was kind of weird. When you live like this, you realize that anything more than this is just purely luxury. But we had some stuff to get taken care of at home. I needed to cut my grass. It was starting to get out of control. I needed to give the truck some love. It needed an oil change, put the fender flare back on it. I actually ordered some mud tires for it that are gonna go on soon because all terrains aren't cutting it out here. But FedEx dropped the ball on that one. So they're not there yet. But as well as showing the truck some love, I had to show myself some love. I still need a freaking haircut, but I'm sure a lot of people do. But we're back, we're out here now, and uh, nothing's really changed. The pond's got some water in it. It's about two feet deep now. So that's good, it's getting there. But today we have planned some little stuff. We are going to throw these two solar panels back up. These were part of my original system. And I feel like we might as well just get them all up there and have a little bit of overkill. We're gonna try to wire up that temp controller for a cooler. And primarily this evening, we're gonna get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is the season opener for Spring Gobbler, which we've been really excited about waiting on. So that is the agenda today. I'm gonna get these solar panels mounted together and we're just gonna mount these kind of up here as one unit. So let's get them mounted together, get them on the roof and uh, get these installed. So side note, while we were changing the oil yesterday evening, this little guy decided he wanted to step in the oil pan. So his coloring looks a little off right now. Let's show you his foot. It's all covered in oil, pal. You're all covered in oil. I'm just trying to help though, huh? Just trying to help. All right, so check this out here. We are going to mount these together about right here, right here, and right here to make this one panel. We're gonna wire them together and then I'm gonna drill fresh holes here for the Z brackets because we mount them together here only having a Z bracket all the way up here and then all the way up here isn't gonna work. We can probably use this hole right here on this one and then we'll make a hole somewhere somewhere right around here for the other one just so there's not a whole lot of weight causing these to bow right here and then we'll just wire these guys up in the one feed that runs into the junction
these things are so gross. They're filled with dielectric grease. So when you screw them on there, all this good stuff comes out. roof up there and the wind again Don't climb ladders with your shoes untied. Whew. All right, let's take you guys up. All right, so 180, 180, now 150. We're gonna get this mounted up here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this for individual panels, not on a rail, but where you can add to it. You do gotta put some holes in the roof, but we have some pieces of flashing, rubber washers, and steel washers and we're going to do it just like these ones right here so you have a piece of flashing that's under the shingle with the bend whoop, little ramp and then you have your z bracket a metal washer and then the rubber washer underneath that's how i've been doing it i've never had a leak but like i said you do got to put some holes in the roof but let's do it Very gently, if your shingles are nice and tarred down, do this gently. Try not to rip them. Try to get underneath them. And then they will stick right back down after a few nice hot summer days. A little farther. Just like this. We're gonna go doop, boop. Voila. Oh goodness. Or two extra leads. Now, we're gonna put these guys on and make sure you get these right the first time because as soon as you tighten that down, it's over. Your odds of pulling it apart and redoing it are very, very low. This blue masking tape, this lead right here, this is our positive. So I taped off our positive here, which means it is this one. And so we need a male connector to go in this female. So right here is our positive. Boop. Just gonna slide that tip over there just before the shielding. Get a nice good crimp. Okay, so now that you have that, we're gonna slide this cap on. We're gonna 
stick our little blue piece down in there. We're gonna jam this on all the way up. Should click a little bit. And then, whew, I know going back from here, but Yeah, it felt good, felt good. So that, now you notice on some of these, it says don't do this under load. Now, they're small panels and it's very overcast, not a big deal. If these were a bunch of these panels and it was super sunny out, I would uh, be a little cautious. Like when I plugged these two in, I threw a blanket over the two of them, plugged them in and then pulled the blanket off. Just so you know. There you go. Now we just gotta do our negative. Get a nice good crimp on there. Take our female in this time. Slide the cap on. Blue thing's already in there. Oh, there is our click. And once again, the point of no return. Right there. That's it. Okay. So, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's that. additional amps not bad I can't wait to see what this does on a sunny day and not this crap all right so that was my major project today I'm gonna try to figure out this controller but I'm not gonna bore you guys with that I'll let you know what I figure out and uh, if you're into turkey hunting Stay tuned for the next video because it is on in the AM. And then if you guys have any questions on my solar system or how I have it set up, let me know, drop it in the comments. Like this video, subscribe please if you're not a subscriber. And uh, I love you, I'll see you next time. Huggy Bear, peace.